I'm bringing it back, y'all, because the whole purpose of meiosis is to generate genetic diversity for sexual reproduction. The whole purpose of sexual reproduction is genetic diversity. And we're going to have a whole lecture on sex and how crazy it is and how energy expensive it is. And even meiosis, like this is a really complicated, energy intensive process that's worth it because of the genetic diversity. So let's summarize, let's make a list of all the things, where'd my iPad go? Let's make a list of all the ways that meiosis results in genetic diversity because the point is we end up with four unique haploid daughter cells. And those, my friends, are gametes. So if independent assortment and the 8 million different gametes you can come up with from independent assortment alone, if that blows your mind, multiply those, that number of possibilities with all of this. What are your sources of genetic diversity? The first thing that happened was crossing over. Crossing over between homologs. This would be a good, um, like true false question or tricky whatever question. Does crossing over, does meaningful crossing over happen between sister chromatids? No, because sister chromatids are already identical. So cross over all you want. The end result is going to be exactly the same as what it was before. But crossing over leads to mixing of the meiosis makers, sperm and egg parent genetics. Whoa. And there are no numbers to like quantify how many possible ways crossing over can occur. I'm not even going to try. It's like a gazillion, fernillion, brillion, gajillion. Thing number two, independent assortment. And I told you that with our 23 chromosomes, oops, it doesn't go like that. I'm going to go ahead and do that. 23 independent chromosomes. That leads to two to the 23rd power possibilities, which is eight million and something, blah, 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 whatever. That's a doo-doo load of possibilities just from independent assortment. And you have crossing over as well. And then I'm just like, come on now. We're throwing it into a different color because this is the only one in genetic diversity that we haven't talked about yet. Sperm did it, all that diverse possibility. Egg did it, all that crazy possibility. And you have random fertilization. Sometimes, sometimes I like, okay, it's a flip of the coin. There's in humans, usually one egg that gets burped out during ovulation. One egg in a person with ovaries. Okay. <laughs> many, many more than one sperm. Like, I wish I had the numbers on hand. It's absurd. Millions, hundreds of millions of sperm in one ejaculation that may be making the trek to the egg, crossing their fingers, hoping they're the winner in the race to the egg. Okay, one egg of a million, 500 million, 
I can't remember how many eggs there are in an ovary, but it's a lot. Maybe it's a million total eggs in an ovary. One of those gets picked. Which one? It's random. One of the sperms makes it. Which one? It's random. Random fertilization means that all the possible eggs and all the possible sperm, that combination, who knows? It's going to be another flip of the coin, and that is going to end up with even more genetic diversity. It is an amazing, phenomenal thing that you are here. You, all the things that had to happen for it to be you, your egg and your sperm that combined to be you. Oh, be really, really, really nice to yourself because you are phenomenal. You are amazing. Oh, okay. The last thing we're going to do is go through the whole process of meiosis. Again, we're going to go through that entire slideshow. If you're like, home kid, I got this. I don't need another review. Then you're not going to get more information in the slideshow. But I debated about how to go through this lecture. And I feel like it might be helpful to see the whole thing from start to finish so that you feel really comfortable with, um, with the process and you get, you get the whole picture at once. Okay, I'll be right back. I was about to say goodbye, but I'm not saying goodbye. I'm going to be right back, but I don't know about you. Okay.